All right, so here's our motor. And uh, we talked about all the different components in the motor and how they work. So I'm gonna try and, and talk about our, the motor that we made here and show you how it's similar to the motor that we have here. Uh, so these are our permanent magnets. So they are just like, they're behaving just like this guy, which is the permanent magnet in our hairdryer motor. And they're, they're both opposing poles. So this is North Pole and this is a South Pole magnet. And so that if you put them next to each other, the way they're set up, they would want to snap together because the opposites attract. But those opposite poles are important so that as the, uh, as the armature, which is this guy, represented by this coil here, as that flips around, it continues to, continues to move. Now the commutator here is actually rather hard to see, but it is it is the uh, it is the mode it is the uh, copper wire here that's been stripped. So we stripped away the insulation on the copper wire on this side, but we left it on this side. Now the insulation is actually a clear lacquer, so it's hard to see, but we we did strip that away with a with a knife, and so that that means that that section of the copper wire is functioning just like our commutator here in our in our electric motor. And the brushes, uh, which conducts the electricity from the contact here into the commutator, well, our, our washers are functioning just like the brushes. So they're conducting the electricity from our battery down to our commutator or wire, and that's conducting the power through the coil or the armature, and then back out the other side and back to the battery and completing the circuit. And so what that's doing is that it's it's creating an electromagnet that is resisting the uh, permanent magnets that are here and causing this uh, device to spin around and turn our fan just like this guy turns our hairdryer motor fan so let's take a look at how that works in our hairdryer motor we have a switch when we turn it on the fan starts spinning and on this one same thing happens so the motor you can see the motor spinning there and we turn the switch off and it'll stop spinning.